Well, the inspiration for the look was Los Angeles landscape, industrial meets nature, like an organic kind of green consciousness, but still very glamorous, still kind of like, you're going to see lots of greens, lots of grays, kind of like mossy hues, but they kind of are infused together. So it's, it's a really, 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 just to be honest, beautiful look. Uh, we're starting off with lip and lid primer on the lid, just to neutralize any discoloration in the eye. Kind of give her a really clean palette and lid to start with. I'm going to apply this, apply this product directly to the eyelid and then blend it with your finger. You'll see that kind of neutralizes everything right in the eye. Completely and totally light. Keeps the shadow on longer. It's a really incredible product. This spring, you're seeing a lot of smoky eye. Again, it really hasn't left. We're moving more towards color for the smoky eye. So we're starting off with Lava Cream Liner with our number 15 brush. We're creating a base on the lid because we're going to do a very smoky eye. We're just kind of working the product up. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you notice, go ahead and open it. It's going to create kind of a nice smoky lid. Okay, so that's lava right there. Pick up product with the brush. We're going to start at the lash line and work the product up. So this is just to create a base. It's one of the easiest ways to do a smoky eye is to lay down that product. Okay. We're kind of lifting it a bit in the corner here to create sort of a cat eye. Now we're taking number 10 brush, and we're using the uh, mossy green shade from the Viewfinder Trio. We're going to just kind of coat that product right over. Let's really create a smoky lid. So you can see, I'm just, I'm, there's no crease, I'm fading it up. We're going to use number 20 brush. It's awesome, awesome for smudging. Image cream liner, we're going to take it right in the lash line. Give her some kind of intensity in the lash. So we are going to apply false lashes to her, but you don't have to wear false lashes to pull this off. We're going to really coat it up with one of our new uh, amazing products called Bionic Mascara. Using number 20 brush, we're going to use our waterproof jet set liner, which is amazing. We actually made it to line the inner rim, the inner water line. So go ahead and look up. What you're going to do is you're going to touch the products right in the inner rim, and it's going to smudge down into the lash line. And it's okay if it's messy. I mean, you don't have to worry about it because smoky eyes, they look a little better if they're less contrived, a little more undone. So we're going to kind of smudge that jet set into the lash line. This is great. When you do smoky eyes, you always want to make sure to connect the inner water line so it doesn't look like they're just lying and it doesn't connect. Back to a Smashbox Classic, number 15 brush. Everybody loves this brush. We're going to go back in with the green shadow and we're going to really go ahead and look up. We're going to smudge under the lash line again and get it really smoky. We've been working on a mascara formulation forever. We just it's such a tough product to get to be perfect, and there's so much competition out there, and we, I think we finally nailed it. We got something that's gonna knock your socks off. Hasn't even been released yet. It's kind of our, uh, our little secret weapon for the spring. This mascara, I can't even begin to describe it. It's incredible. It actually, the whole name Bionic comes from the ions that they use in it, the negative and positive ions. So what it does is it actually holds the curl in the lashes, it's really incredible. Go ahead and close your eyes. I bend my mascara wand this way and pick up a lot of mascaras to get them really close to the lash line. Just really coat up the lashes. You know, I haven't been this excited over a product launch in so long. It really is kind of like, gives that just full, dramatic runway lash. So I'm going to move into applying false lashes. The secret to doing false lashes is being born with small hands. I have really big hands, so it's hard for me to <laughs> No, actually, the secret to false lashes is uh, you gotta wait for the glue to dry. People usually put glue on and they try to slap it right under the eye. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you gotta wait for it to become a little tacky, and then that's how you, you lay the lash in. I always use some sort of instrument, like a brow brush, to help push the actual lash in. Um, for this look, we're going to actually start somewhat in the middle and we're going to attach the lash 
I'm kind of at a lifted angle, and you're going to see that. So I'm actually attaching it to her skin. So if you see, when you apply them lifted, it actually lifts the eye up. So it's actually like attached to her skin right there. It kind of gives her this whole lift. So it elongates her eye. And then what we're going to do is, is that area in between there, we're going to fill in with black jet set. So it kind of like coats everything in. I'm going to nude out her lip first with concealer. Um, give her a really like nude, pouty lip. Take, like, take all her color out. And then we're going to apply our lip enhancing gloss and a loom just to give her a lot of shine. She has no foundation on, by the way. I look at her skin, that's the look. <laughs>